Hello investors, my name is Dehan. Welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. In today's video, we're going to be looking at this red market currently that we're seeing and three potential altcoins to buy on the dip in the month of September. So right now, in the past 24 hours, the market is down about 2.87%. But actually, the prices are pretty much trading sideways if we actually take a look. Here, top gainers in the past 24 hours are going to be DeFi Money, which is up about 17.86%, trading at $5,120. We have a highest volume Bitcoin, but the volume is actually lower than what it used to be just a few weeks ago when we were trading at 30, 40 billion right there. So Bitcoin still trading around this 47 to 48,000 area, pretty much the same area we were at yesterday, but it is down about 2.26%. Ethereum down about $100 or so. It's down about 4% here if we take a look. It is trading at $3,300. Cardano is down about 2.5%. Binance going down 2.5%. Even Ripple down here 2%. Solana 1%. Polkadot 6%. Dogecoin is down about 2.8%. We, we even have some green here, like Avalanche is still doing very well, hitting all-time highs at $72 right now, which is obviously a positive thing. And one coin that we've been watching for on this channel for a while, and it's still performing very, very well. We have some more coins that are trading in the red. With another outlier here, Algorand, another coin we've talked about on the channel, which is up about 3.5%. Cosmos, yesterday's video, we talked about Cosmos up about 1.8%. But it seems like everything is down or up about a 1% or 2% or so. And then obviously we have some that are outperforming or underperforming the market by a lot more than that. So that's what's going on in the market right now. So before we get into this video, guys, smash that like button for me. Let's aim for 100 plus likes in this video. We just hit... 43,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. We're going to keep on going. As always, if you want to sign up for Webull, get your two free stocks valued up to $2,300. Links will be in the description. Check out our merch store. Link is going to be in the description for that as well. And leave a comment below which crypto are you looking to buy right now. So let's get into it. First altcoin on this list is going to be Polygon, also known as Matic. So Matic is one of those green coins that, you know, popped in April slash May, as well as Solana and many others that we discussed before. So this one right now, it is still on the low. So right now it's down about 4% trading at $1.34. In the past week, it's pretty much trading flat, only up about 1.5% or so. In the past month, it's literally flat at point. 11%. So it's been at the same exact level, but it's been ranging between, you know, highs of 180 and lows down here of about $1.10 at one point when we saw that flash crash type situation at the beginning of September. Now on the one year chart, this coin is still up over 6,290% as it was trading at two cents last year, went from two cents all the way to highs of $2.83. Pulled back down all the way down here in July, close to about 73 cents or so. And then ever since then, we've been on the up and up. So we're up about 100% from that low. Obviously, from the high here that we saw at 170, it was up even over 100% at one point. So this coin is performing, you know, very well. But there's still much more potential for it to continue to go, especially get back to those all-time highs that we saw at $2.83 in May. So we have over 100% upside just to get back up to those highs. So right now, the market cap on um, Polygon is at 8.9 billion. The volume on this coin is at 698 million, 73 uh, typical hold time. And then if we take a look here at the trading activity, 64% buy, 36% sell. And it's the number 17 coin on the list. So Polygon, also known as Matic. So Polygon is an Ethereum token that powers the Polygon network, a scaling solution for Ethereum. Polygon aims to provide faster and cheaper transactions on the Ethereum using a layer two side chains, which are blockchains that run alongside the Ethereum main chain. Now, users can deposit Ethereum tokens to a Polygon smart contract, interact with the, with them within uh, Polygon, and then later they can withdraw them back to the Ethereum main chain. The Matic token is used to pay for transaction fees and participate in a proof of stake consensus. Now, how it works for those of you guys who are interested in this part, well, picture Polygon as being like an express train on a subway. It travels along the same route as the regular train, but it makes uh, fewer stops and thus m moves much faster. So to create new Matic and secure the network, Polygon uses a proof of stake consensus mechanism, which uh, means that one way you can earn money on Matic uh, you hold is via obviously staking. So what are the validators do? You know, they do the heavy lifting. So the, the, they verify the new transactions and add them to the blockchain. In exchange, they may receive a cut of the fees and newly created Matic. Becoming a validator is a commitment that requires running a full time node or a computer and staking your own Matic. So if you have a, if you make an error or act uh, maliciously, you could lose some of your staked Matic as well. Now, delegators, uh, you know, they stake their Matic indirectly via the trusted validator. This is much lower commitment versus a uh, version of staking. 
but it still requires research. If the validators you pick acts maliciously or make errors, you could lose some of your or all of your stakematics. So it's a high risk, high reward type situation. Now, something to keep in mind, obviously, the Polygon network aim allows you to do many of the same things the main uh, Ethereum network allows. But with these fees that are often a fraction of a cent, you can try decentralized exchanges like QuickSwap or SushiSwap. Yield generating lending and savings protocols like Aave, NFT markets like Op OpenSea, or even no loss prize games like uh, Pool together. Uh, if we take a look here to try the Polygon network, you can uh, you need to send some crypto to a compatible crypto wallet like Coinbase wallet. You can then bridge some of your crypto. Stable coins are a popular choice for this. To the Polygon network, you'll also need to bridge some Matic to make transactions, but even a dollar's worth is plenty because fees are very, very low. So Polygon is one of those greener coins that has a lot of potential, only at a $9 billion market cap right now. Plenty of potential for this one to 5x in the future or even higher and be trading at $10 or even more. So Polygon is going to be our first altcoin. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Second altcoin is going to be Theta. So Theta right now, it is down about 4%, trading at $6.20. In the past week, it's down 4% as well. In the past month, down 9.7% with highs here of about $9.58, $9.75, almost reaching $10 at one point. On the one-year chart, we're still up over 968% from lows of $0.58 cents or so all the way up to highs of about $16 here in April. Then we saw the market crash and pretty much you know, pull back down and consolidate all the way down to under $4 at one point. Ever since then, we've been on an uptrend, obviously. So there's still you know, a lot of potential for this one to do 100% uh, upside right here and make it uh, you know, some more gains. So $6.2 billion market cap right now. Circulating supply, 1 billion coins. And then the volume on this one is $150 million. So Theta, definitely one of those coins that you know I would keep an eye on because it could explode on the upside and have a lot of potential. Just to get back up to the all-time highs that it was trading at, like I said, there's always uh, over 100% potential. So $1,000 could you know double and make it be worth over $2,000 just by getting back to those all-time highs and the market cap being very low right now only at six billion market cap it has plenty of upside i wouldn't be surprised if this coin even did a five or ten x in you know five ten fifteen or twenty years as long as they continue to do great things for us um you know i would not be surprised to see the market cap continue to rise over time as crypto becomes more acceptable worldwide in the, in the overall market cap of crypto rises as well. So Theta is our second coin on the list. And then third but, la you know, third but not last, guys, Pancake Swap. So Cake. This one right here, down about 2.5% here on the 24-hour chart. It is uh, down about or actually up about 12.5% in the past week from, from lows of $18 to highs of about where we're at right now. Then in the past month, we're up about 3.5%. We were at highs of $24, $25. Then the market pretty much crashed, flash crashed to $17. And then we've been on an upside. So everything pretty much recovered to where it was. Now on the one-year chart, this coin is up over 1,331% uh, right here, which is great. So it's trading at $1 last year. Went from $1 to $44 here in April. Pulled back down to lows of about $11. And now we're up about 100% since those lows. So in the past month and a half or so, we're up over 100%. So pancake swap is still performing very well. Market cap is very low on this one, actually 4.9 billion. So it's on the lower side, actually volume in the past 24 hours at 261.6 million. And then the circling supply of uh, cake coins, 223 million. So this one pancake swap, you can, you know, swap your coins, do different things. You can do staking. A lot of you guys are familiar with the staking concept. A lot of you are not. We're definitely going to be talking about that on this channel in the near future. So stay tuned for that type of content. We will be talking about staking and many other opportunities that you can take in the crypto space to make some passive income, obviously. But there's always a, you know, risk and a reward type situation going on with those situations. So pancake swap, 4.9 billion market cap, only a 5 billion market cap. This one, if it could, if it gets some volume and does other other things, it could definitely pop and go on higher. So definitely another one to add to your you know radar to see how it's going to perform in the future as well. So that's going to be our third altcoin. Now, obviously, we're going to take a quick look at the rest of the market, like we said. So let's take a look at Bitcoin, Ethereum, and some of these other players to see how they're performing. So Bitcoin down about two percent. Yesterday we hit highs of forty-eight thousand five hundred. We're down about a thousand dollars from those highs, and most of those most of those uh, you know losses happened here Sunday morning. So in the past week, it's up four point eight percent. Past month up 5.9 percent we hit highs of 53,000 pulled back down all the way to 40,000 huge drop and now we're recovering now in the past year it's up 327 percent very nice gains obviously but right now we're seeing a little bit of a consolidation area 
But this type of situation happened here in February through pretty much May. Well, we saw it consolidate and hit higher highs, and that we're expecting that to happen here as well. Where at least we're hoping for that to happen here going into the rest of a uh, you know the end of summer, beginning of fall, and then obviously winter. So market cap 890.4 billion right now. Typical hold time 86 days. Trading activity 65% uh, buy, 35% sell. So we have the circulating supply of 18.8 .8 million coins. We will only have about 21 million in the future total once all of those are mined there will be no more bitcoin coming out which is actually one of the things that keeps bitcoin you know pushing on higher so then we have ethereum ethereum is down about four percent we hit highs of 3500 yesterday now we're at, at around 3347 so it is down about a hundred dollars as well and like i said most of those losses happen here on sunday morning in the past week it's up about two and a half percent past month up 11 percent and then on the one year chart 769 percent so anybody that's been holding for a year you've been making some great gains and we keep hitting these you know nice highs here for the month so it's been consolidating here pretty much for about a month or two and we're looking for another upside potential but like we said we did not want a uh, price action like this where it just shot on higher and higher then it was overbought here we're seeing consolidation and slight movements up and that's exactly what we want to see we don't want to see it go up too quickly because then we'll see a crash like we saw in the past so we nice and steady wins the race right there market cap right under 400 billion right now 82 typical hold time and then if we take a look here we have 117.6 million um f in circulation 66 percent buy 34 percent sell activity so ethereum still performing very well let's take a quick look at solana so Solana obviously pulled back down. We saw those highs here this month hit about actually yeah, beginning of September at $216, pulled back down. Now we're looking for some consolidation and a potential uptrend. So 46.6 billion uh, market cap being on this one, 68% buy, 32% sell. Solana still looking great, obviously, for the future. And especially because of uh, uh, all these NFTs, as NFTs continue to grow higher, so will Solana because a lot of people are using uh, you know different NFT type situations like that to perform you know, very well with Solana as they're using it. So Solana is doing very well, and that's something we want to continue to see. Doge, like we said, it's the end game in my opinion for Doge. If we ever see a bear market in the near future, Doge is going to go downhill and it's going to crater, uh, in my opinion. You know, we did hit those highs, obviously at 32 cents, 34 cents up here last month. Then we pulled back down very quickly to 20 cents or so, and now we've just been at these levels. So uh, a lot of people still believe that it's going to continue to go higher. Me personally, I do not think that's going to happen. I think if we see a bear market, this coin is going under 10 cents, and it's going to be pretty much worthless because it has no value in my opinion opinion it was just a meme coin and everybody got lucky that was holding it because it was so cheap and they lucked out so 31.4 billion market cap trading activity 82 percent or 52 percent buy 48 percent sell i think it's game over for doge guys you guys let me know if you agree or disagree so guys i hope you i hope you guys enjoyed this type of content if you did smash that like button for me we're aiming for 100 plus likes subscribe to the channel turn on that bell notifications to get notified every time i make a new video and as always i'm not a financial advisor so before investing speak to your financial advisor do your own due diligence and understand the risk and reward type situation that you're you know getting into so speak to your financial advisor guys this is all for entertainment purposes only if you guys want to sign up for webo and get your two free stocks valued up to 2300 dollars links in the description check out our merch store as well and leave a comment below which cryptos are you buying right now or looking to potentially buy right now i hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in the next one goodbye